Welcome to this guide to Pico Technologies Waveform Manager feature. With the Waveform Manager, you can easily import the wave waveforms on your PC and quickly edit their data before uploading them to the waveform library. The key benefits of uploading all your waveforms to our free waveform library are having them all backed up, easily searchable, and readily available from other locations or on other PCs. Before we start, I'll have the PicoScope Automotive software open, a suitable automotive scope connected within the software, and a guided test menu open in front of me. I'm also signed into the Waveform Library. Please take a look at our other training materials to see how to connect to Peakscope and create or sign into a Waveform Library account. To start, click the Waveform Manager icon in the application window. We can see that the feature gives you three ways to import your waveforms, by dragging and dropping, by searching a folder and its subfolders, or by selecting specific files. We'll demonstrate the drag and drop method in this guide. The other methods follow your operating system's usual steps for selecting files and folders. To import your waveforms, select the files or folder you want to import, drag them over the waveform manager window, and then drop them in. You'll see an import progress indicator on the waveform manager icon. When successfully imported, the progress indicator disappears uh, and the total number of waveforms that are ready for upload appears in the Upload All icon. You can sort the list of imported waveforms by file name or creation date. This can help you find specific waveforms in the list. In addition, you can see that every imported waveform has a label indicating whether it is ready for upload or requires an edit before it can be uploaded. Ready for upload means that the waveform has the minimum required data, such as completed vehicle type, make and model fields. To upload all the waveforms that already meet the minimum data requirements, click Upload All. Alternatively, to upload a specific waveform, click on the Upload Waveform icon to the right of the waveform details. If the waveform is not ready for upload, the Upload Waveform icon remains present but inactive. When the waveforms are uploading, you will see a progress indicator on the Waveform Uploads icon, located near the top right hand corner of the application window. Click on the icon to see the status and progress of individual uploads. You will see that after each waveform upload has completed or been attempted, a status indicator is added to the right hand side of its upload details. The indicator is a tick with a green background if the upload has been successful and a cross with a red background if it has been unsuccessful. Hover over the indicator with your cursor to reveal the error message when an upload has been unsuccessful. For example, if it is already existing in your waveform library collection. The waveform uploads icon also displays a red dot when any one of the waveform uploads has been unsuccessful. To re-attempt a previously unsuccessful upload, click retry. Alternatively, to remove the upload from the waveform library uploads list, click clear failed. As the imported waveforms are uploaded to the waveform library, they are removed from the imported waveforms list and the upload all icon indicates fewer imported waveforms needing to be uploaded. If you need to edit imported waveform data because it is missing or incorrect, click on the edit icon represented by the pencil to the right of the waveforms details. You can add or update any item of waveform data apart from the waveforms measurement data. When required data is missing, the data fields borders, hint text, and instruction message will be highlighted in red. Click save to save or cancel to ignore your changes. Your changes will be lost if you click cancel. Note that only the waveform data imported during the waveform manager session is updated after editing. That is, the source data in the waveform's PS data file is not updated. This means changes to the imported waveform data are lost when the application is closed before waveform edits have been uploaded to the waveform library. If you want to remove all the imported waveforms from the waveform manager list, click Clear Imports. Note that your data changes will not be saved if you haven't uploaded any of your imported waveforms that have updated data. We hope that the Waveform Manager makes it easier for you to have your waveforms well organized, backed up in one place, and readily available from any site or PC. 
Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.